Okay, so we're on number three of Dr. Long's review questions for lectures 17 through 18. Number three, the first part of it states, in the E. coli plasma membrane, the composition is 75% protein and 25% lipid by weight, assuming an average molecular weight of 50,000 for each protein and 750 for each lipid, what is the protein to lipid ratio? So we can begin to solve the first part of problem three by calculating the amount of proteins in a given weight of plasma membrane. So if we just arbitrarily assign, say that we have 100,000 units of plasma membrane, we know that 75,000 of these units will be protein because it says it's 75% protein by weight. It also says that the average molecular weight per protein is 50,000, so we can use dimensional analysis to find out the amount of proteins. So when we solve this, we find that there are 1.5 moles protein. Um, next we're going to do the same thing for lipids, so we can say there's 25,000 lipids, units of lipids, per 100,000 units of uh, plasma membrane, and we know that there are 750 units per lipid. So when we solve this, we get 33.3 lipids. And now the problem asks for the protein to lipid ratio, so we find this by dividing the amount of proteins by the amount of lipids, and we find that the protein to lipid ratio is 0 0.045. If you wanted to find the uh, lipid to protein ratio, it would be 22.2. So now we're on the second part of problem three, which is asking, assuming an average molecular weight of 125 per amino acid, what is the average number of amino acids per protein? So we're going to use dimensional analysis again to solve this. Um, the problem already stated that proteins have a weight of 50,000. So that's 50,000, just any unit per protein. Um, and again, it says that there are 125, a weight of 125 per amino acid. So if we put the units... We can solve this, um, the units cancel, and we find that there is an average number of 400 amino acids per protein. So we're now on the last part of number three, which is asking, assuming half of these amino acids fall into hydrophobic transmembrane membrane helices, how many times on average could a membrane protein cross the bilayer with a 30 angstrom hydrophobic thickness? So remember from part B that we found there's an average of 400 amino acids per protein. You're going to need this. Um, to solve this, we need to remember that each amino acid in the transmembrane helix has a rise of 1.5 angstroms per amino acid. And um, so in order to cross a bilayer with a thickness of 30 angstroms, we're going to use dimensional analysis again, and we can divide 30 by 1.5 so that the units cancel. And this um, tells us that there are 20 amino acids needed to cross um, a membrane with a thickness of 30 angstroms. Now the problem states that half of the amino acids fall into hydrophobic helices, so 200 amino acids are going to be involved in these hydrophobic helices. Um, we know that 20 amino acids are required to cross, so this tells us 200 divided by 20. There are 10 transmembrane helices possible. This protein will cross the bilayer ten times.